Hey everybody, it's Vaping Jen with another Juicing with Jen review. And today we are going to be reviewing a local juice company based here out of Eugene called Willamette Valley Vapors. Now, the, I've had the wonderful pr privilege to be, meet Brian, who is the owner and juice maker for the company. He brought me out three different ones, and I have to say all three are very, very good. Now, he has others within his profile that he's making, and we'll go over that in a second. So, the three flavors that he does have, he sent me Peach Psychosis. He also brought me, which is empty, but he brought me a second bottle um, of the horchata. And last but not least was cookies and cream. So let's go through them one by one. First and foremost, I have in here is peach psychosis. Now, I've already done these in a tank and they taste wonderful. I did it on the TFE4 and things like that. So flavor protection was very good. But here we're going to be doing it on the dripper. I'm using the Freak Show with my X cube. My build is a 0.3 ohm coil and I have it set at 60 watts. So here we go. Let's take a vape and I'll tell you how I like it. This is one flavor I really like to, um, and I'm trying to open up this wide open, which I'm not getting it for some reason. There's one. There's two. Um, with the freak shows, you guys know you can't overdo them. Um, they're sometimes finicky to do. I'm going to change out my drip tip though. Um, because this is just enormous amount of flavor that's in this. So you need a little bit more airflow. I'm going to pull this one off here and use it on here. It's my glass strip tip, which has an upper airflow as well. Oh, man. <laughs> That is so good. You get a nice, fresh peach with a hint of sweet in it. Um, it, it, it it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I like this one a lot. Let me um, just juice it up a little bit more. Um, cloud production's great, of course. Oh, it smells good. He does have child um, safety locks. However, once the seal is broken, it's not anymore. So that's one negative aspect because um, we do need the child locks on them. On his bottle, he shows your uh, VGPG ratio, which mine's an 80-20. He shows that he's with Facebook right now, working at getting a website up and running. And I have three milligrams. Um... Other than that, I like the simplicity of his um, bottles, but I think he's going to have to start putting things in like um, the actual ingredients and stuff like that. And unfortunately with the FDA, where that's the avenue we're all heading. So those are a couple cons to it. Um, even though I don't mind that it doesn't have a child safety um, thing on it, there are people that vape that have children in the home and don't pay attention. That's just a given. We know that for a fact. So um, for me, that's a negative because I obviously don't want to see any child get hurt. So having the child safety locks, I, I personally believe is um, a big, 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 oh, well, darn it. That came right out. I have to fix that. Oh. There we go. So let's take another vape on this, and then we will be off to the next. And as you can see, it does really good vape production. 
Um, they're not real dense clouds, but the clouds are pretty decent, obviously. Um, okay, so um, peach psychosis, we're on to the next. That will be the um, cookies and cream. And I'm going to clean everything up. I'll change my wick, and then I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. All right, everybody, I'm back now. On to the second flavor, which is cookies and cream. And this, too, same three milligram. It is... An 80, oh, yes, 80 PG, no, VG 20 PG ratio. Um, let me just remind you guys of a couple things. When I do reviews, they've already been tanked. Um, also, when you're doing reviews, make sure you hydrate when you're vaping. Very important. So, okay. So I have the same build. All I did was um, take out some of the cotton. I took out the cotton and replaced it. So same build, same everything, same stuff I'm using. Nothing is different in this. Um, like I say throughout my all reviews, they pretty much are consistent. So here we are for cookies and cream, and let's go at it. That is really nice. It's got like a chocolate, a hint of a chocolate um, intake, and on the exhale, you get the cream. But for me, chocolates have always been hard because they don't do it correctly, so it kind of tastes funny after a little while. Um, I have to say, this stuff's been here for about a month, and it's amazing. So here we go. Let's do this again. So you can see great cloud production. The flavor is spot on for cookies and cream. And the chocolate doesn't take over to the point where it becomes that grittiness at the end. Um... It smells wonderful. It drips well. Oh, this stuff is very good. All right, people, let me do the same thing all over again. Let me change out my co my um, cotton, and I'll be right back with the last and the three for the review. So don't go anywhere. Okay, everybody, I'm here back for the third and last in the Willamette Valley line. And it is called Horchata. Now, I originally had this bottle of Horchata. And as you can tell, it's empty. I went through it in about six hours. So, in the garbage, this goes. Um, everything's the same, same setup and all that. So, here's Horchata. And in the tank, this was the best torchata I have had in a very, very long time. It Working with cinnamon is a very hard flavor because it can take over the entire flavor and then all you smell is cinnamon or taste is cinnamon. And for me, ugh. But let me tell you, he has this well balanced and did an amazing job with it. So let's take a vape. It's, it's like creamy, milky, heavenly, hint of cinnamon. Oh boy. He sure is going to make this very hard to put these in order, like I always do at the end of all my videos. So... Here are the pros. Oh, let's start with the cons because there's only a couple of them. Um, one of the cons I have, uh, it's a major con. I think this is something he's going to have no other option but to replace. Once the seal is broken, it is no longer child safety. And even with the seal, it isn't a child safety bottle. 
The other thing is, is he's going to have to get a web page and also um, really put on warning labels on these bottles. Everybody's moving to that. I think the FDA is going to require it. So I think that's a, another con. Now the pros for me, because it isn't a child resistant cap, I can get it on and off. I have multiple sclerosis, so it makes it very hard sometimes for me to get some of these caps off, it, you know, with the push and turn if I don't have the strength of my hand. So for me personally, it's a con, a, a plus. The other thing is, is it drips very well. It's got the larger drip tip, so it will fit in things like the TFE4, so you can just push down a little bit harder and you're going to be able to get that nipple in. Um, I love the simplicity of his designs. It makes it really, really nice. He marks and tells you, you know, you can get this in uh, three and six milligram. Now, um... Uh, Brian, who owns um, this particular Willamette Valley Vapes, um, has different flavors all the time that he's working on. So this week for um, through October, well, this was back in October 10th, he's done a Honeydew Cotton Candy Peach Mag Mango um, Madness uh, Cozumel, which is a pleasant tropical blend, Fruit Loops, he also has the following, blueberry cheesecake, blueberry graham waffle, blueberry cotton candy, tropical cream, margarita, oh, peach psychosis, unicorn jizz, skittles, orange dream, strawberry shortcake, vanilla green ice cream, vanilla cupcake, cookies and cream, oh, horchata, oh, salted caramel, and Captain Crunch berries. And he can do pretty much any flavor if he knows and is about a week out time um to of steeping now all of his liquids are usp grade vg and nick base all drip juice is an 80 20 vg pg ratio so it is high vg this will work in most like your sub tanks your not uh atlantises and of course the newer um, one's coming out. So in the description down below, I will put all the information so that you can get in contact with him if you want to place an order. Um, people here in Oregon, you guys aren't going to really like it. He's a sweet, sweet guy. And let me tell you, his juice is amazing. So as I end all my videos, as I put the trials I get in a you know favorite to least favorite now this is really hard um for me because I've liked everything but my ultimate favorite is his horchata it is the best that I have ever tasted um not much cinnamon over it it doesn't go overboard and a very very close second is peach psychosis now I would never thought I'd be a peach person but I really really like this and it kind of is on the same plane as cookies and creams. He's the only one that has made a chocolate one that I can actually vape without it feeling that grittiness. And this has been steeping for quite a while. So all of them are fabulous. Thank you so much, Brian, for bringing them out. Um, I do want to try some of the other flavors and I'll get a review out. He's been waiting a while for this. So remember everybody vape and breathe because with vaping we can breathe a hell of a lot better. Also, don't forget, get involved. We've, if you are vaping, you are old enough to be voting. Um, the FDA is trying to put on heavy restrictions and we need to get ahead of the ball instead of always being in the background. So underneath I will have all of those kind of places, CASA, Northwest Vapor Association, etc. for you to check out on your own. Also, don't forget about my 500 like Facebook giveaways because we are over 310. So we are getting there slowly but surely and I want to give this away before Christmas. So can we make it? I will see you in the next video review and also on Vapors.TV on Wednesday for this week and always Vaping 101 for our new Vapors on Sunday. So you have a pleasant evening and I will see you guys in the next review.